have gathered here for the group discussion and uh, today our topic is uh, that is solar energy a truly renewable and truly sustainable uh, source of energy so uh, uh, renewable energy is energy that can replace itself in a human lifetime in uh, in itself in human lifetime and uh, solar energy uh, solar energy uh, as we know that solar energy is extracted from the sun's rays and therefore it is classified as renewable energy because uh, as we know that uh, sun is a continuous source of energy uh, you might not be uh, aware of the fact that uh, out, the out of the total solar energy that falls on the solar panel only 16% of it is converted into electrical energy so how can you say it's truly a sustainable form of energy because uh, only 16% of by the current photovoltaic cells only 16% of it is being converted to the electrical energy but uh, we know that actually it is not going waste. The uh, solar energy, the uh, sun's rays that are falling on the solar panel, of course they are being used. But the other uh, sun's rays, I was saying, uh, leaving the 16% apart, the uh, solar rays, they are not getting wasted. They are getting used for some other processes, uh, as we know, uh, photosynthesis and many other processes. So we can't say that they are getting wasted. So harnessing electricity, only 16% is so just tell me one method, how can you increase that percentage to make it very effective? Uh, so whenever mm -hmm. solar, uh, solar, panel, solar panels are uh, placed, they are placed in a large number. Like uh, when you see uh, a solar uh, production, solar energy production plant, there are many, a number of, a lot of solar panels, uh, which makes it quite high, the energy production. But uh, you see the solar panels are, uh, the life expectancy for them is hardly 3-5 to five years and there is not a proper uh, way to recycle them which uh, causes harm to the environment. It adds to the disposable units because it cannot be, it can be, you can either replace it or either you recycle it. So it has a very short lifespan. But the solar energy received from the sun is not only uh, useful for converting it, uh, it into electricity, it can be, as you said, that photosynthesis, which is uh, good for uh, the plants. And as, uh, as you said, that it adds up to the uh, waste. Um, plants also, you know, uh, afforestation, as we, uh, as I wanted to say, is afforestation um, uh, is another method to prevent uh, the disposal of uh, waste. No, here we are talking about solar energy to be useful to us in generating electricity. Because according to you, burning fossil fuels uh, increases the amount of pollution. Yes, so, so we are not talking in relation to photosynthesis, we are talking in relation to generating electricity. As you said, fossil fuels uh, increase the amount of pollution in, uh, in the environment, but solar energy, nothing. I will wait, I like to say. Uh, and uh, one, more, one, like one more point, solar energy, once installed, there is, it's free of charge. You know, nothing has to be done after that. But fossil fuels, you have to keep on adding on, like uh, the motorcycles, bicycles, run on fossil fuels, and the price of fossil fuels is also much, very much higher. Going these days. Well, you said uh, you said that uh, the expenses are minimal. Uh, when you, uh, firstly, install a solar energy um, conversion panel or something. But firstly, they are expensive to install, which in India we speak, uh, most people are not able to. Another point that I would like to say is that I mentioned it that uh, they are not easily recyclable and their life expectancy is very uh, low to about uh, 3 years. So uh, there is not much expectation if we speak in India from people to install such solar panels and make it actually sustainable. Uh, what my teammate uh, here uh, wanted to say is that during the in, uh, installation, uh, so the, there's only one time uh, investment and maybe a little bit afterwards. So that might be a large amount of money, but uh, compared to the fossil fuels, if we uh, look at fossil fuels, uh, we have to almost like suppose, for example, a vehicle, we have to fill uh, petroleum or diesel every day, almost every day or every twice, uh, two days. So uh, what you wanted to say is that there is only one install uh, investment time like uh, during the installation of the solar panels and maybe afterwards during maintenance. But uh, for, for fossil fuels you have to do it uh, around daily or something like that. Uh, the uh, operation of solar energy does not lead to any pollution. But the production of solar uh, panels lead to a considerable amount of pollution. And plus these solar photovoltaic these, uh, cells, solar cells, 
uh, they contain a, a metallic subst a tox a toxic substance known as cadmium, which has the tendency to accumulate in the food chain. Uh, if you look at the fossil fuels, they don't uh, like you want to say that they don't contain any uh, such uh, chemicals. They contain a lot. There are many uh, there are many gadgets or devices like. Uh, <coughs> vehicles they release some uh, poisonous gases which causes global warming like carbon the, uh, the, the carbon compounds trap the uh, trap the heat of uh, heat which is reflected by the surface of the earth which causes global warming and which is very uh, harmful whereas the solar panel uh, converts the this solar uh, energy into the electric energy and helps to reduce well i would call a solar energy a green illusion uh, the reason is because uh, when you put uh, solar cells and solar panels require fossil fuel for fabrication, maintenance and installation. That also leads to a considerable amount of pollution in the environment. The amount of pollution caused due to these processes is negligible in front of uh, when compared to the amount of pollution caused by the fossil fuels. Uh, well, when you talk about sustainable solar energy, uh, what fact uh, do you have that fossil fuels will be depleted in about a uh, few centuries or so? What will happen to the solar, uh, solar panels afterwards? As she said, fabrication and installation of such panels involves the usage of fossil fuels. How is it uh, that uh, we will eventually come up with something uh, to use the solar energy uh, later on when we don't have fossil fuels to help us uh, install them? Solar panel, uh, like as she says, I agree to it. But there can be another techniques also where uh, it does not use uh, fossil fuels. So we, uh, in the coming years, we can come up with some new techniques where the solar panels do not use fossil fuels. This will take time. And presently, we're talking about whether solar uh, solar energy is truly renewable or not. If we, so it's future, I know it might be available. These techniques, but for the present time, they're not. At the present time, the fossil fuels are also present. Yeah. They are present. I would like to add on that uh, fossil fuels also take uh, time to be depleted, like depletion. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. because they they may take centuries, and uh, we are saying about like in uh, another 20, uh, 10 to 20 years we will have the technology to uh, like to excel in uh, the solar solar panels which are uh, not using the. Uh, but solar uh, energy and solar panels have one disadvantage. They depend upon the weather, season and cloud cover. And second of all, um, you cannot use solar panels uh, to generate electricity in night. They need to, they, the energy needs to be stored in the batteries. And batteries have other um, bad effects on environment. Uh, you are saying that uh, we can use solar panels only during the day when there is enough, sun, in, enough sunlight. Uh, from uh, this institute, uh, I would just like to recall the name of the institute, uh, please. Yes, Pembina Institute, uh, they had a uh, research and it said that uh, the sun rays which a solar panel uh, collects in 20 minutes is enough, uh, I mean not just one solar panel but a uh, uh, huge number of solar panels collected in 20 minutes is a lot to power the, uh, I mean provide energy to the earth for a year. Can you think about a household? I mean, is it, is it affordable for a person to, uh, you know, get so many solar panels to generate this amount of energy? Uh, as we know now, uh, it, it's not like, uh, suppose you'll, uh, you, have, you have a house, but it's not like you have a nuclear plant, plant behind your house uh, producing energy for you. You are actually uh, getting the energy from a supplier. So it won't be like you have to install the uh, solar panels. There must be some program which must be, you know, uh, like the government must be supplying solar panels to everyone it's in the coming years. I'm not saying it's being done, it's existing. But the, uh, as he said, that solar panels can be uh, available everywhere and the government can supply. How is it done? Because I know about solar panels. Can you tell me other ways? How is it done? How is it supplied to the homes of some other big companies doing it in a large scale? There are many such plants. Uh, you look at like villa uh, uh, the villages which don't have uh, more like electricity. There are many such suppliers which uh, which have the solar panels installed in, in a free, like in a ground or a free area, which give uh, which gives enough electricity for the village to like sustain. Uh, 
Pranav, uh, it will uh, it will definitely take five to ten years. But uh, as you see, uh, in next five uh, five years, uh, India will uh, it's like, uh, India will have a, a supply of solar energy almost everywhere. And also, I, I would just like to add upon that you may have seen the uh, technology, uh, the advanced technology we are having in our country today, and uh, maybe it might not even take five to ten years. It might be uh, before that. And also there are many places which have solar energy, so it is just like uh, uh, to uh, enlarge the uh, areas covered under the solar energy. It, is, it won't be a, such a big, uh, uh, what should I say, a problem for the government. Putting my uh, point on the topic itself, how is it that uh, we will make the solar energy available in the country? Because it is a if she mentioned that there uh, have to be a certain climatic uh, conditions for solar energy to be harnessed. Now, you see, uh, because of uh, the global uh, warming, there are uh, many climatic changes of the place going on. So, how is it that those climatic changes may be favorable to harness those uh, that solar energy? Uh, green energy has its own, uh, has its own specification. If you talk about geothermal energy, obtained from the earth, geothermal energy sites are not uh, placed everywhere. So the uh, if we need geothermal energy in our country and if the site is somewhere in Australia, of course the distance is too far and uh, it may uh, you know uh, affect the, the cost may increase or something like that. If you talk about wind energy, wind energy we, we need uh, wind mills. So for wind mills we need huge uh, 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 wind turbines which generate a uh, lot of noise and uh, it, it leads to noise pollution. And I would like to add upon the point you uh, like. I would like to add upon, and uh, as you said that you need climatic con uh, uh, favorable climatic conditions for setting up solar panels. Uh, solar panels uh, plants, big plants which uh, set up solar panels, they look. Uh, they have a lot of research uh, done, uh, and they set up power, uh, solar panels in areas which have a uh, good good climatic condition. Uh, well, I would like to add upon that uh, these the, uh, the bad climatic uh, conditions are also caused by the fossil fuels. They release such gases which cause global global warming, which you said that uh, it's like it's no use for the solar panels. But uh, these are caused by the fossil fuels itself. If you look somewhere behind the the climatic changes, you will fo find the fossil fuels. Uh, you might you just told that um, these uh, solar panels are set up in an area where there is enough uh, adequate sunlight. That's fine. But you cannot control the weather there. What if there is a cloud cover? A cloud cover is not permanent. It might it's be there for just... But listen, uh, during that course of time, or you might uh, talk about the thunderstorm that might be occurring at a place. Uh, he just said that uh, in 20 minutes, there can be uh, like uh, electricity created uh, to like to provide uh, one, year, uh, one year over the earth. But what if, uh, uh, but the cloud cover takes place only for 10 minutes. That's it. And uh, other, it can be recovered by other, like when there, the, there is a maximum amount of sunlight. So you are saying that the cloud cover will be for 10 minutes. Can you please speak to me now? You are saying, yeah, please say, the cloud cover will only be for 10 minutes. And you think that in 20 minutes the amount of sunlight captured can be destroyed for 1 minute. Now you said that the cloud cover will be for 10 minutes, but at least for the sun rays to come on and uh, the panel to grab it, it will take some time. You can't have 10 minutes cloud cover, cloud cover and directly 10 minutes you have proper sunlight. But there was there was some time before the clouds came in, there was a uh, sunlight uh, there was a uh, sunlight which was collect uh, the energy was collected by the solar panels before the sun uh, before the cloud cover came in. So that would be enough to cover up the uh, energy produced in that uh, time. Cloud. And, uh, what do you have a seen? Uh, like in India, we have the rainy season. It's from June to September. So basically, yeah, we have breaks in monsoons, but we, we have so much of rain. So from where will the uh, panels collect energy? As yeah. you said, there are breaks in monsoon. That's the time. And uh, so these breaks are for only for uh, quite few days. But As he said, 
that in 20 minutes uh, the amount of electricity uh, uh, captured or uh, you know, word uh, can be useful for the entire network over here. Okay, so in 20 minutes and the cloud card as I said, uh, let, let us take it as for one hour. Okay, so in 20 minutes if the whole uh, the electricity captured and there are many such panels you can uh, you know recover this uh, solar energy. We don't uh, we 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 are we actually cannot consider uh, the cloud cover a problem for it. But then all institutions does not have or does not uh, gather this sunlight in 20 minutes and then produce electricity in 20 minutes. So you talked about only one institution. Uh, I, can I just... Uh, this is an institution which has done a lot of research on this uh, topic and uh, then they have gathered to this conclusion that uh, 20 minutes of uh, sunlight is enough to power one year for one year of, uh, of energy. Of upcoming years there will be many of them. So uh, you talked about seasons. So the uh, season before the monsoon, we can store energy or we can conserve energy that time and we can use it for the monsoon season. And I can add on to it that uh, cloud cover is not going to last for a long time compared to the sunlight, the presence of sunlight. So uh, the you know the, it can be stored to the upcoming season. Uh, can I just go far back to the topic that uh, point that he mentioned about windmills and uh, geothermal energy being harnessed. Could you please elaborate on that? It was hard for me to comprehend exactly what you were saying. See, I wanted to tell you that in wind uh, windmills, the wind turbines they rotate. Okay, so for that, a lot of noise is produced, and uh, over there, and it causes it leads to noise pollution. Uh, and also, uh, compared to fossil, uh, like I'm trying to focus on the solar panels. So. Uh, in comparison, uh, comparison to uh, windmills or nuclear plants, they require more investment uh, compared to solar panels. If you, uh, like, if you uh, do a lot of research about it, you will come to know that uh, windmills, uh, nuclear plants, geo uh, not geothermal plants, and like these plants and uh, power, uh, power production plants ha uh, require more investment and a lot of area. Uh, the solar energy system. That's what I'm saying. In comparison to uh, solar panels, so. Uh, that what I'm trying to say is that solar panels are much more uh, easier to install and much more uh, cheaper than uh, nuclear plants and windmills. And uh, nuclear plants, they're electric to And uh, nuclear plants actually uh, occupy more space than compared to the solar, uh, solar panels, which uh, can be, you know, uh, you know, put up in houses and stuff. So it will actually be easier to set up than uh, other plants. How many of you have solar panels at your home and you are actually using it right now? I have. In my society, there are. Society. Very less. Mostly we are, we are dependent on fossil fuels right now. So, I do think in the, in the future, it might be that we might come out with better uh, solar cells and solar panels to harness the solar energy. But for the time being, we are all dependent on fossil fuels. Every day in the school, we learn about reduce the amount of uh, fossil fuels uh, about we talk about reducing fossil fuels in our day to day life and you want to tell us that uh, you are telling that the solar energy you know we should stop you know none of us are using solar energy so like it's not it's not coming into the picture but i only mentioned that solar energy the production of these solar panels lead to a considerable amount, considerable amount of pollution in the environment you said that uh, we are totally dependent on fossil fuels. We are totally dependent okay, on fossil fuels. So after right now. Very, it's the energy that is produced in India right now. Most of it comes from fossil fuels. It's very little okay, energy. So what will you do after 30 to 40 years when it's totally depleted? Uh, we find out better, me better methods for it. That's so that's yeah, that's 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 right right now, now. But present methods, present time. <laughs> Well, we have debated, we have discussed, but now I leave it to you as the audience, as the people to uh, really come up with ideas, to really uh, take opinion on whether or not solar energy is actually sustainable. Thank you.